is the mighty Jesus. I welcome you back to 10 minutes with God in Jesus' name. This time I'm talking to you about the fact that you are going to get your rare hobot. And the subject matter I'm talking about is get your rare hobot. Get your rare hobot. And I'm taking our text today from Genesis 26, 18 to 22. Let us pray. Almighty Father, thank you, Father, for this time. As we seek your face and seek your face in these 10 minutes, I pray you will make us to identify and to get our rare boat in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. I welcome you back again to 10 minutes with God in Jesus' name. In Genesis 26, 18 to 22, we see there that Isaac was asked to live by um, Abimelech. And after this man asked Isaac to leave, Isaac moved ahead and went to another place because he was a shepherd with animals, with women with him, and they needed water. So he dug a well. He didn't pray to God that, God, give me a well, give me a well, give me a well. He knew he was a child of promise. He was a child of covenant. He carried something inside him. So if you carry something inside you, my brother, my friend, it's good to pray at all times and to remain, remain dependent on God. But it doesn't mean that every kind of problem you have, you just go to God. Ah, we, we, we have that song. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. That's a nice song. That is a nice song. But look at what Isaac did here. He faced the problem of water. When you face burning water, what do you do? You dig a well. You dig a well. Don't go and pray to God to give you water. Dig a well. What you should pray for is that God let us find water there. Isaac was a man of covenant. He dig the first well. He got water. They came to him. They said, ah, you just put say, ah, it's our well. He left it for them. He went again and dig and dug another well. That one also, they saw the God water, the people came and said, this is our well. He left it for them. Then they went to the third one and he dig another well. That third one, nobody argued with him about it. So he said, now, the Lord, this is a sign that this is where God wants us to be. The Lord has given us room here. The Lord has given us room here. When you are a child of covenant, when you are a man of covenant, this is not everything you are fighting over. That is what I learned from here. And that is what God wants you to learn from here. When you are a child of promise, a man that carries covenant, you will not be fighting over everything. What other people are fighting over, you will not be fighting over it. If they are fighting over this thing with you, do you mean that the covenant does not cover you to get another one? It covers. So you move ahead. When you are at this level, they want to block you. Move to another level. Move to another level. Move higher. Look at the example of the ego. The ego, we are told, I was listening to some, something yesterday in the, a documentary, eagles don't fight with snakes on the ground. Because when eagles and snakes are on the ground, eagles have um, snake and have an advantage on the, on the ground level. So what the eagle will do is that when it is being attacked by a snake, it will carry the snake using its long claws and take the snake up into the sky and fly into the sky. And from the sky, it will throw the snake down. Oh my God! <laughs> the snake will land on the floor of Baga. So when they are arguing with you, con 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 taking you up on certain things, you move to your place of advantage. You move to a place of advantage. Don't stay in the place of disadvantage and die there. If the eagle remain with the, with the snake on the ground level, the snake is going to kill the eagle. The snake will, round, will roll itself around the eagle. And that is the end of the eagle. Once the snake is able to capture the feather of the eagle and the eagle cannot turn the feather, that is all for the eagle. So what the eagle does is that it will struggle. It will make attempts. Once the snake is coming towards it, it will carry the snake with its claw. And then, no matter how heavy the snake is, it will try to lift it up. When it lifts it up, from your, it will take it to a height. From that height, it will throw it down. When the snake slams on the ground, these bones will break. And the snake... Will be, will be accidented or it will die. That is what you should do to your enemy. When an enemy comes towards you, don't stay in the same level with them. Don't stay in the same level with them. Take them to your own place of strength. Try, struggle to move them to your own place of strength. 
And as we do that, you are going to overcome them in Jesus' name. They came to Isaac, they struggled with the first one with him. He left them because it was their own place of strength. The second one, they struggled, he left them because it, it was their own place of strength. The third one, no more struggle, and he identified that that is his own place of strength that God has given to him. And he called the place where he put. He said, God has made room for us. I don't know what you are going through today, my friend, my brother, my sister. God said, I should tell you, he's going to make room for you where in the, your next move, where you are, your next move. God is saying that he will make room for you. God is saying he will make room for you. Maybe once something that belongs to you, you work for it, it was taken. Don't struggle and just stay there and struggle and struggle. Are you do you mean that God that helped you to get that one cannot help you to get another one? He can. Move on to another place and dig another well. Move on to another place and make another another success. Move on to another place and make something else out of your life. And God of heaven is going to see you through at this time in Jesus' name. Maybe the what you do are where they're arguing with you over is a job and you lost a job. Maybe you lost a man, you lost a woman. The husband or the wife, and then you lost them to another woman, to another man. Oh my God, this is so emotional, and I'm sorry to know that. But God has a room for you, a reward for you. God has a better plan for you. He has a great plan for you. All you need to do is to move to the next place and dig another well. Move to the next place, start another relationship, start another business, start another family, start another school, start another, another course, start another program, learn another skill. All you need to do is to move from what the baby you have been using, a particular drug, and it's as if there's no solution. All you need to do is to move from that place and start taking another kind of drug. And God is going to bring healing to you in Jesus' name. Maybe you have a child and the child is, 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 is disgracing you and is giving you problem. I'm telling you, God will give you your own level of just move that child from where you are to another place and that child will change for good in the name of Jesus. You see here, Isaac did not waste his life. Some people waste their life at a particular point, arguing, fighting over things. Whereas there's a lot of space and a lot of feet everywhere. If this, this place is not working, move to another place, another place will work. And every place will work for you in Jesus' name. God will give you wisdom to identify your level boat and to know your level boat from today in Jesus' name. For Isaac, it was a, it was that there is no strife. For you, God may have another way of revealing your level boat to you, and He will do it for you in Jesus' name. Before we pray, we see something here. Isaac did not go to God and begin to disturb God. God, the blessing that was upon Isaac. Isaac knew God. Isaac was a covenant child of God. The covenant, covenant, it was, it was bound to God. And the blessing of God was upon him. When they fought over the first one, Isaac did not go to God and be fighting and say, God, kill them. God, let them die so that my land will come back to me. No, he left them. He said, I'm a child of covenant. I can do better. And he went and he did better. You will do better in Jesus' name. You will do greater in Jesus' name. You will do bigger things than what you are doing now in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes to God in prayer and go to God in prayer and say, Lord, help me. The wisdom that Isaac displayed and the knowledge is displayed, the understanding is displayed. Lord, give to me that kind of wisdom, that kind of knowledge, that kind of understanding in my own level, at my own time, in Jesus' name. Help me that I will not disappoint you. Help me that, Lord, I will not disgrace you at my time, in Jesus' name. Isaac opened up and things opened up for him. Isaac moved on and things moved on for him. Your life is going to move to a next level in the name of Jesus. You will not remain at the same level again. Whatever has kept you at the same level before, God is giving you victory over it now in Jesus' name. You are moving from minimum to maximum. Where you didn't find water before, you find water there now in Jesus' name. All those who are arguing and debating with you and trying to pull you down, God will give you another better place in Jesus' name. God will give you a bigger place in Jesus' name. Like in the case of Joseph, Joseph had to leave there, even though they sold into slavery. It was his time of, it was the kind of living that eventually became a prime minister in Egypt. I pray you will become greater than where they are striving with you in Jesus' name. God will give you your real hope. The Almighty God will help you to identify your real hope and you will enjoy your real hope in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Get help us to get our real hope in Jesus' name. Help me to get my real hope today today in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for the answer prayer in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I praise, I praise God for you. 
And I believe God that you are getting your whole boat this time and this period in Jesus' name. Isaac moved on, he made an effort, he made a move. Make that move today, and your rehoboth boat will come into your very hand like this, and you will see it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Share the link of this video. Comment in the comment section below. And if you have questions, ask your question in the comment section below. And then please subscribe to this channel if you have not done that. And I'm going to talk to you in the next video. And we are going to see them. Until then, remain blessed and enjoy your rehoboth boat in Jesus' name. Amen.